Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Slope Podcast. Hey. It's a podcast about Sakamichi series idols. Ooh. Nogi Zaka. Ooh. Kiaki Zaka. Ooh. Hinata Zaka. And Yoshimoto Zaka. 46. Mm-hmm. Mm. The best one. We see we say this every every time. Every this time, but true. there's never news. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm boy. That's Jimmy and Josh. As always, every week. What's up, guys? What's up, dude? Hey. Jimmy, you are you always above me in the layout? I believe so. Right. Has the layout changed, boy? No. Okay. It's never so changed. So from now on, I'll point up when it says yeah, Jimmy. Yeah, it's always okay. Jimmy and, jo- and then I'm here. So, oh, okay. Well, there you go. Josh. Consistency. All right. What's up? Oh, wait, oh shit. Oh, no, no, wrong way, wrong way. Okay. Okay. Uh, what's going on, everybody? How you guys doing? Um, I'm doing good. You're good. I'm, I'm not. So Me sick. neither. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're all we're all dying together. Oh yeah. So uh mm-hmm. I've had a really bad toothache for the past like week. Maybe Is more. that why you've been on hiatus? <laughs> yeah, I like I just <laughs> so <laughs> it was fine. You know, like last week I was talking about when I went snowboarding and stuff. So on my way mm-hmm. home like driving down the mountain it was like so bad <laughs> i didn't, i was like mm. i didn't want to like fly off the mountain but uh like it went away for the rest of the week and i went to see the dentist mm-hmm. and stuff and they're like all right let's schedule a root canal oh rip dude <laughs> the worst dude like fine so they schedule me for like april a month from now or whatever mm-hmm. and then like over the weekend i was at work it came back stronger than ever. <laughs> oh no! Like when I was driving down, it was just like there, and then it would go away. But like, mm-hmm. it hurt like all day at work or all night at work, rather. So I'm just sitting there at work, like holding my my mouth, like I'm not doing anything tonight, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> so um, yeah, it got so bad that I just slept as much as i could so i didn't have to be awake <laughs> you didn't have to be awake yet to endure <laughs> to the pain alive. dude i was like i wasn't even on like twitter or anything it was just like no <laughs> please i'm i'm leaving this world for sure yeah <laughs> i'm going but like to luckily dentist you know like i went back and like and i was like yo the pain is too much these painkillers aren't working i was taking like four pills at a time Plus, like the the topical one that like numbs oh, your damn, mouth. Dude. None of that shit was working. So dentist was like, "All right, let me get you in today." So I went in today, got that <laughs> shit fixed, but it still hurts because it's like just fresh. Yeah, you know, it's like yeah. You know, you just got it fixed and, and stuff. In an invasive procedure. Yeah. You know. So I was finally eating. I didn't eat solid foods for like three days. Just drinking like fruit smoothies and soup. Mm. Mm. Anyways, that's that's enough about teeth. How you Dental work, <laughs> pretty good. Uh, other than that, I'm all right. You know, I got, something, I got something new. Oh, oh what's Ooh. that? Look at this. Oh, Ooh. you pawn book. All right, uh, like a quick one second, like one sentence review. Because mm-hmm. you gotta save it for the the actual review for your video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True that. <laughs> I mean, now that I have the second camera, maybe I can. Start doing those photo book reviews again. Ooh, got the top down and everything. Mm-hmm. 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 In 4K this time. Yeah. So you guys can see the photo book in detail. Ooh. <laughs> it's going to be like this like low res image. But <laughs> like through a high res video of it. <laughs> I thought Oricon would have like the uh, sales for the week already, but no. Mm. So Not all the yet. ludes are already in the previews, huh? Already in the previews. <sighs> all the, all the good That's ones. unfortunate. Because they released like the... The lutus one at the last uh-huh. minute before the book. That, that was that was the lutus one. That picture. No, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> like other, oh like, man, that, like, I don't want to talk about themes it. around it. But like that one is probably like the one. That is the, the lutus. Yeah. Okay, um, would you recommend it? Maybe, yes. maybe. Uh, I'd recommend it to people who are fans of Yui Pon. 
No, no only Yui Yui Pone fan, so no, Yui Pone fans are going to get it regardless. Yeah. So, okay. so would you recommend it the to levels, people who are Keiaki right? fans that yeah. don't care about Yui Pone? And would you recommend it to like non Keiaki fans? Yeah. So usually there's like the fans of the group and then just like mm-hmm. fans of cute girls. All right. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. it's just. Um, anyway. I would recommend it to hardcore fans of Kiaki, fans of cute girls. I mean, she's cute, but honestly, the thing about. I'm going I'm to be honest right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. The thing about that's, her that's, photo book. Here it comes. Her expression doesn't change much. Mm. And that kills it for me. It's, like, a, it's always like that, like innocent yeah. kind it, it, of. Like, she has like two, she has like two or three expressions, and most of the time it's the one. That, that yeah. there's only like one photo that I like really like the expression. I it feels I like know, it's actually genuine. I know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. Like, I could I could open up any and then, and just based yeah, on the one. previews. Look, I could open up, look. I opened up any, and it's the, that expression. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> That's why that's when I'm watch front like, expression, same thing. <laughs> when I watch like Keaki Tekakenai, and when she like laughs or like does something like says something funny or whatever mm-hmm. i was like oh look at look oh, oh, <laughs> you, oh. oh yeah because there's moments where she like genuinely smiles and i'm like that's a good expression is it just me no it's probably not because kayaki fans noticed this early on but does yui pon not look like fujita nicole <laughs> does she not <laughs> Put it up for the people to see, dude. You know who she is? Dude, yeah, 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 yeah. She is Polish and Russian descent on her father's side. Oh, word. Oh, yeah, dude. Makes I guess you some resemblance. Because I, 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 I count her amongst, like, my hafus that I like. Dude. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. It's like her and, like, fucking Tina. and, and Oh, we're like, Tina. Maggie. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. But, <laughs> like, this week's Keaki de Kake and I, it, like, really... Nailed it. I was like, oh, damn, dude, she does look yeah, like Fujita. Yeah, yeah. That's straight up porn, dude. <laughs> I guess, I guess <laughs> oh, man, dude. That is, uh, yeah. Who's who? I don't know. <laughs> it's like the, the, the Sakura the Miona thing. It's like, see, which which. <laughs> In this gallery of pictures, which one is Pawn? <laughs> which one is Fujita Nicole? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, need, we need to go to I that, that episode where, uh, was it, um, when it was like Yone and Pawn go to that high school and then they oh, like, yeah. done up and oh. stuff like that? Because uh-huh. then that's, that's, that's Fujita Nicole, dude. Yeah, dude. Like when she, <laughs> like when Nicole made like her debut. She had like the kind of gyaru look, right? Yeah, like yeah, with yeah. the blonde hair and everything. But nowadays, she's like gone yeah, she's for the more, more natural look. But yeah, mm. that's uh, that's an aside. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh yeah, we, we should uh, keep going on tangents. Let's, let's, yeah. keep, let's keep the show rolling. <laughs> that's gonna make up for our our lack of uh, news, dude. <laughs> Boy, do you um, work today? <laughs> yes, I do. Okay. Okay, let's keep it moving. What's, what's the comment of the week, man? Ooh. All right. Well, actually, there is no comment because Nani. I want to give give a shout out oh. to two people. Oh. This shout out is to Sawai and Adam, who are keeping it so wholesome and conversating with each other <laughs> Oh, I know in the exactly comments. what you're talking about, too. Mm. That, like, that warmed my so heart, good. dude. Wholesome so good. convos over here. Because, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, before we, every Tuesday morning, I check the comments, and I try to guess if I can guess what Mr. Box is going to pick for his comment of the week. <laughs> and I did, I, I was wrong, but I did see what you're talking about, and that, mm-hmm. like, warmed my heart, dude. Mm-hmm. Oh, so because awesome. Of the MVPs, people who comment and watch, and genuinely watch it, like, all the way through, and subscribe. You know, you can subscribe if you hit the, oh my the subscribe God, button down below. Oh my God, you just ruined the wholesome, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you, you disgusting shill. <laughs> yeah, but thank you guys for watching and coming. <coughs> so, yeah, okay. Are you going to talk about their comments or, or just it's a. No, just a shout out to them in general. All right, guys. There you go. Shout out. Is there to a you. comment in the video down below if you want to be featured on the next comments of the week? All right. Um, let's get into some current events. Uh, included in the current events are the shilling corner. Mm. You got some today, good guys. One. Good one. Um, 
SoftBank's new commercial series, the Giga Kuni. I hate back commercials. Back with new. You don't like them? Jimmy. I don't. I don't need weird like robot Mad Max world. <laughs> <laughs> but there's but there's one good thing about but it. Instead of like Immortan Joe like confiscating water, it's just it's people in need of Wi Fi. <laughs> no Wi Fi, guys. You know the epidemic of no Wi Fi continues. Mediocre. Um, you know the story continues. Of course, you want to watch the cat videos. <laughs> this one has a uh, Shirai Shimai. That's why we're covering this. And so mm-hmm. one of the adventurers, he's like watching cat videos on his phone, and he, I guess, loses connection. Can't continue <laughs> watching the cat videos. No <laughs> Wi-Fi. That's me at work sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but also they released. Uh, you know, like the footage, the cat video, or the yeah, the actual cat video the guy was watching. Mm-hmm. They released the full thing, also, which is you know, part of it, it's, I guess. Was it just any cat video? No, not it's just not. any. So you know, there's a cat, and then and the owner is narrating. Oh, look at my cat. She plays mm-hmm. around and shit all day, but when I leave, the cat turns into Shirashimai. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> and it's my end tail and ears going around mm. the house See, doing cute shit. I just want this commercial. I don't need the Mad right. Max. <laughs> that's, that's my thing. Uh, and she's all oh, like man. brushing a, her hair. How would, you, how would you feel if you were this guy? I'd feel cursed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, I mean, you already are, Jimmy. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying, like, you have Mayan in your house, but you what have to not be there for her to be Mayan. You know? mm. That's like... If I had, like, home cameras... Would You'd it, never go just home. Enjoy it? Would it just... still turn into Shirai Shimai? Or would it but at stay that point, is that bestiality? If like you like the cat because it's Shirai Shimai? Well, not when she's Shirai Shimai. Because you but don't I mean, like still her. Cat. For, but you don't like her for her cat features. So you're saying you're into furries? No, because they're <laughs> like not people. What? What but it, has it's happened? A cat that turns into a person. I'm saying I'm in, I'm I'm attracted to the Mayan features of this Mayan. Yeah, cat, but it's still a cat. cat part. But it's still a cat. But this, you're not attracted this to is, the cat parts, though. I yeah, feel but like uh, <laughs> this is an anime starring Jimmy and My Shiraish. And somehow, like, Jimmy will come home. It's like a toy home. story. Like, 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 they turned into real life, but then, like, they're still a toy. Yeah. Mayan is still a cat. And then somewhere along, like, the second arc or something, right? Jimmy comes home and he. And the cat doesn't turn back, or Mayan doesn't turn oh, back into a cat. Into my- Oh, and, and then, it's, and then isn't that like, like the first episode, I drop whatever I'm holding, and then it's to be continued. That's and then like, Jimmy's like, "Is this yeah. okay? I'm in love with my cat," and that's the title of the. Ooh, you know, between, with between my cat. this and then the <laughs> the story of uh, the first emperor of Japan being reincarnated into an idol otaku, we could make, we could write some pretty good animes. I'm just saying, yeah, dude, that is uh, you know, using them tropes, right. <laughs> Still in the uh, litter box, though. So there you go. Uh, change your uh, All right, this this provider. Lion Cat fantasy gets worse the more we think about it. So let's just uh, <laughs> oh, man. let's just the move thoughts. on. Thank you, SoftBank CM, uh, for <laughs> the cute Mayan video. Change your service to uh, SoftBank so you can support Shirai Shimai. It's available in your country. If, it's, if it is available. We don't have mm-hmm. it here. If not, we would, right? Right, guys? Uh, oh, of course. Uh, Hands down. Only if it has unlimited data. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm. uh, anyway, that's it for the Shilling Corner. Time to talk about some more current events. So, let me just say, we're pretty good at predicting the future on this show. Oh, shit. <laughs> Clairvoyant did, podcast. Did I not say, watch, we're going to get an edgy Hinatazaka B-side? <clears throat> that's it well, right there. Well, they said, you know what? Here, take some Tokimeki Soul. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hinata Zaka releasing more music videos from their debut single, Kyun. Mm. This time we got Tokimeki Soul. And uh, what do you guys think about the video? I haven't seen it yet. Josh hasn't seen it. So while Jimmy right and now. I speak about it or talk, converse. About I'm going to do it. what I did last time, meet you guys, uh, and then I'll come back. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy and I will, will 
discuss our thoughts on the mm. video real quick. Yeah, is, so, this, is this another Kosaka Now Center? I think it's all Kosaka Now. Okay. So Tokimeki so there's a lot of yeah, walking. I've already seen this one. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, there's a lot of walking. There's a lot of uh, running. Uh, the choreography very Takahiro Sensei because yeah, he did it. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. it's it's very. Uh, is this Kiyaki is this Zaka. a Kiyaki Zack song? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I it, you can almost like okay if instead of like a nice sunset, it was dark and raining. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. You can almost substitute Kosaka now for Techi and get the same feeling. <laughs> Wait, just play a. Uh, uh, it's not. It's not full. It's not like full blown Kiyakizaka. Well, the part where Fuji one. The part where Bemiho throws a chair. <laughs> oh yeah, that's is that, Kiyakizaka. Is that not very Kiyakizaka, <laughs> man? <laughs> and it's like the was it? There's like a Memi in like a the alley. And there's all these neon lights, and it's all kind of mm. wet looking mm-hmm. and stuff like that. That's pretty Kiyaki Zaka, dude. Yeah, like the main mm. choreography part, I mean, obviously, because it's Takahiro Sensei's choreography. Mm-hmm. It's very, you know, telling a story type of thing. But I really mm-hmm. like the the dance with the, the the dance shot with Kumi and and Katoshi. Oh yeah, yeah, I was gonna say that in too, the yeah. city. Yeah, it looks very nice. Uh-huh. It looks very nice. Um, like the scenes in the music video, uh, like have no connection whatsoever. I don't, I don't see. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. It's just a bunch just of like look cool. Oh, papers flying, running out of classrooms, right. I, uh, crying uh, in the water. You know, <laughs> I like the part with May dancing in the computer room. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like yeah, the part where Kyonko's wearing headphones and walking. <laughs> yeah, Kyonko looks nice. Mm-hmm. I actually think the the walking is like my favorite part of the video. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. They, for one, they, they all look very nice. Um, I do like how the sun kind of softly comes in from the side for a lot of mm. the shots. And it seems to be the only consistent part of the video. Right. <laughs> I feel like the director mm. wanted to cool, like shoot a bunch of cool-looking scenes, mm-hmm. but doesn't really have any idea how to tie them together. It's like... <laughs> the editor just got it? Oh, what yeah. am I supposed to do with all this? <laughs> yeah. What's the story here? It's like those those action movies where it's like, yo, I have ideas for cool set pieces, but no plot. <laughs> 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 Let's just uh, loosely tie them together. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I do like a, kind of like a, a, the colors in the video. It's like a nice mm-hmm. saturation to it. Nice contrast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's a little teal orange going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, so far, uh, Hinata Zaka and Kiyaki Zaka have been pretty good about not, like, giving you that disgusting idol filter. Yeah. Mm. You know. At least with the... very, like, Hollywood coloring cinematic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is kind of nice to see uh, a mainstream idol group kind of go in that mm-hmm. direction. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But um, overall, it's uh, not bad. I do like all the individual scenes. Um, it's just like mm-hmm. I don't know what they have to do. With Wish there was e- some way to connect each it. other. It's just kind of like yeah, cool shots. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, so, what do you guys think of uh, the song? Oh, is this a uh, Kiaki Zaka song? <laughs> <laughs> that's like the first thought I had. I was like, yo, this is Kiaki Zaka mm-hmm. song, dude. <laughs> yeah, if I was just to close my eyes, I'd be like. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's Kiyaki Zaka. Your, your camera, like, moved yeah, yeah, like we close, close my eyes. Enough. Yeah. I, didn't want, uh, I didn't want you guys to see that, you know? Yeah. Which is not, you know, I'm not saying it's bad that it sounds like a Kiyaki mm-hmm. Zaka no, song no, to no, me. No, it's no. just, yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. It's, that's what it means. You kind of realize that all, all, all the groups, all the Sakamichi groups have, like, they share producers, right? Or mm-hmm. they have the same producers. So, like, some songs are bound to sound similar than mm-hmm. the others. Just kind of how it is. Mm-hmm. I feel like for me to really appreciate this song, I need to listen to it a few more times. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, there's like little things going on in the strings, or like mm-hmm. there's like the second verse where um, it's not quite a cappella, but a lot of like uh, the instruments fall off, you know, and it's like kind of nice. They, I like they when do, that like, does that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When that second verse is uh, like very different, or like it's noticeably yeah, yeah, different yeah. from the first, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. keeps it interesting, yeah. 
Yeah, not bad. Yeah, uh, I listen to it again. Mm-hmm. It's not one of those where like you just watch it for the music video and then you like the music you ignore. You like want to listen to it a couple more times. Yeah. 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 Uh, but that's not the only uh, music video we got from Kiyakizaka or. Ooh. Did I say that? I meant huh? Hinata Zaka. <laughs> Jimmy! <laughs> this is not what they're called anymore, man. Jimmy. Jimmy. We, s- we swore to never call them. Uh, apologize man. to the viewers right now. <laughs> Blasphemy. <laughs> Blaspheme. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, so that's not the only... Uh, we can call that out. That's not the only music video we got from Hinata Zaka, 46. Uh, we <laughs> also got the music video here. for um, Footsteps. Yep. Right, so it's a uh, it's the unit with uh the models, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Got Talked it. about that uh, last time a little bit. Yeah, Kosaka uh, and Katoshiho, Sasaki, Mirei, and Kumi, and Takamoto Ayaka. Mm. This is so. Uh, kind of. Did you like watch this yet, Mister Box? I'm watching it right now. Okay. Oh, okay. So now Jimmy and uh, I will talk about it. What well, do you think? I was, about to, I was about to say, Mister Box. I think if you started it at all. You've basically got the gist of the video. <laughs> <laughs> it is so very is it peachy. All in this room? Yeah. It's mm. peachy, guys. It's Oh, uh, I don't know. This is Apple. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It like the entire first half is this peach color, right? And, and obviously it's like on purpose. And then you get to like the the last part and you get some not the last part, but like the last half or so. Like the you, you know, get color grading kind of yeah. normalizes. <laughs> Right. Yeah, a couple, a little bit more blues in, in some shots, some greens in uh, the Mire and so forth, right? It doesn't, yeah, it's not as peachy at the end, but... Uh, yeah. It's but, still... You know, uh, Sakura, uh, that, that time of the year, you get it? A peach. <laughs> yep. Huh? Yep. Yeah. It's, but, uh, it's very much that. I don't I don't hate it. Uh, I think it looks nice. Um, yeah, just, yeah. I kind of like those monochromatic type you know where it's like everything is one color it looks mm-hmm. cool in some, I, some I wish thing. it wasn't only that for so long but yeah like i was gonna say not the whole video yeah because then your eyes get used to it and like it becomes like very plain and mundane right mm. yeah it ends up just being one color like uh, but, uh, and i don't know I, I just wish they'd done more with that concept because you don't really get the i like you don't really get peach until like I don't know. I mean, you get like little flashes of the screen. Oh, there's sakura blossoms and stuff like that, right? And then at the end, there's blossoms and stuff like that. Like, oh, mm-hmm. yeah. It's not very apparent until yeah, like halfway through at least. Mm-hmm. That blue comes in like really harsh. It's like out of nowhere too, because it's like contrasting, you know, like out of mm-hmm. nowhere. Whereas, mm-hmm. like, I feel like yeah, if it wasn't just so set, like okay, I wish that this was the main like shot, which it is. But then they would have other set pieces and like things yeah, like yeah. that yeah, yeah. mixed in, you know. Yeah, because yeah, it's enough for you to like, already understand. Thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But overall, not terrible though. Mm-hmm. It's a nice like. Uh, I like the I dance. Know, another another mid tempo song, but <laughs> mid tempo. Uh, yeah, I mean it's uh, it's bad. It's not bad. Like the dance. Like most of the single, like all the songs, are choreographed by Create Boy, who has done like so much shit with like you know the other group and Sakamichi series. Mm. Um, I, I guess only Tokimeki So is the one that's not choreographed by Create mm. Boy. But I thought that was interesting because like initially I thought Create Boy was gonna handle everything, like uh, Ertang. Irritating, like you know, Hinata Zaka is gonna be like their thing now, just like Takahiro uh-huh. with Kiyaki Zaka. But Takahiro's like, give me, give me that Tokimeki So <laughs> one. That sounds like maybe it was meant to be for like you know Kiyaki Zaka and Takahiro Sensei mm. choreographed it already or whatever. And it's like, oh no, uh-huh. let's let's give it a Hinata instead. <laughs> yeah, we need we need to fill out their their new single, right? Yeah, so, mm-hmm. but this ain't bad. This just reminds yeah. me of. Aozora to Mary, rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's five of them. They probably have a unit name or some shit. I don't know. I, I don't know. No, um, I do like that, like, with these unit songs, you get to hear members, like, individual voices a little bit more, especially during, like, verses. Yeah, yeah. You know, and the chorus is, like, 
a really nice kind of upbeat kind of yeah yeah you know you get like the horns and the instrumentals and stuff like that mm-hmm. It's, mm-hmm. it's nice it's a nice like i think i i think i i like the song more than the music video mm. Mm. i see that mm-hmm. yeah yeah not bad but uh have we heard all the songs no we haven't huh? there's probably gonna be some that don't get music videos or something yeah, but as far as all the music videos, I think we have them all. But mm-hmm. I was going to ask which one you guys like the most so far. Kune. And why is it Kune? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I was going to say. Kune is... I don't know. Kune's really grown on me. The, mm-hmm. the chorus really does it for me. Yeah, dude. It, I don't know. Okay, I like... Okay, I don't like the, the intro, like the first like second, because just... But I do like yeah. that it just starts off like already like up there, you know. It's mm-hmm. kind of like a nice surprise. It's, it's not like, mid tempo. Like, slow build. Yeah, that. Too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. This is exactly what it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? Yep, yep. Um, so. I don't know, especially coming from uh, like uh, their second older sister group. Right, uh, like from Keakizaka, where things are just like very emo, yeah. to like a very bright, happy kind of song. You know, the choreography is really cute in the music video. The song itself is really cute and catchy. I don't know mm-hmm. it's grown on me. I I used to think that it was kind of like this, uh, like the chorus was like this, like, um, like. Not as good version of double keaki zaka no uta. I can I see know. where you, yeah, yeah, like yeah. The, it's, the, it's not ex- the melody is kind of similar when it, yeah, na, 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 yeah, yeah, na, na, na. yeah, yeah, anyways, mm-hmm. but uh, um, I see that, but like, I guess if I since I've listened to it enough on its own now, I've been able to kind of like the tempo is faster it. and stuff, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I think we all agree that Kune is the best one. Mm-hmm. From the single, yeah. Mm-hmm. What's that? Oh, like? that, that reminds me. Um, so now that they're Hinatsuzaka forty six, are they all first gen Hinatsuzaka? Yeah, they were first Ooh. gen. So, yeah, when the, the group formed, right? So, uh-huh. oh, does that mean I think the newest member is first gen still? No, no, I think it's still no, no. like depending on like how first, they, second, third. Yeah, mm. they they're keeping it as if they were still Hiragana because yeah, mm. mm-hmm. technically, it, I mean, they are right. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the order of when they join the group. Type of thing. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I was just curious about that. I mean, I think if you go to the website, it just it still lists for second, third generation. Oh, okay. And under members. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry, the last like minute of the music video is so good, dude. Of what, Cune? Yeah. <laughs> when it like goes to the field. Yeah, and it's all that stupid, like, uh... The like car? S- car shots, yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm like, woo! <laughs> cool. It's all like these, this... these cunes, dude. Super low sweeping shot? That's cool, man. Yeah. yeah. Time, to, time to, like, run around with my gimbal just doing the underslot way. I'm <laughs> gonna <laughs> <Just>, ah! <laughs> trip over and... <laughs> I'm gonna be the guy from freaking M-State. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Hinatazaka single coming out next week. Yeah, next week. Oh, next week. So should be good. They're they're starting off very strongly as a new group. So all right, guys. So this is this going to be a test of what kind of kid you were in high school. Kyun or Kuroi Hitsuji? <laughs> I want to say Kyun, but everyone's a Kuroi Hitsuji dude <laughs> in high school. Yeah, dude. No one's a coon in high school. <laughs> Everyone had their emo phase. I don't think I had an emo phase. Oh, look at Josh over here. All positive. No no bullying. <laughs> no bullying. My heart <laughs> bleeds for you. Oh, god damn it. Uh, anyway. When I was a young See? boy. <laughs> if you, did you not listen to My Chemical Romance? No. 
then you're a then you're a kuroi hitsuji dude anyway uh thank you oh, Hinata I, bet you, Zaga. I bet you i bet you uh the black parade is tetchi's ringtone dude <laughs> It's like it starts from the beginning. She just sings along for a for a good minute. She doesn't even pick up the phone. It's like we go. Like, it's like Tetchi, pick Tetchi up. never picks up her phone, dude. I don't know why. She's on the other side. My father <laughs> took me into the city to see a marching band. Ah, oh, god damn it! Sorry. Can we move on to uh, Kiyaki Zaka now? I have some things to talk about. Um. Anyway, we all know Risa's releasing a photo book. <laughs> Finally has a title now. It's called What's the what? Makuchi, dude. <laughs> what? Stupid. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what? Why what? It's called what? Makuchi, dude. <laughs> M Yeah, it's called <laughs> Sorry, I'm still in high school Jimmy mode, you know. <laughs> Makuchi, dude. <laughs> No, it's called it's Mukuchi. Mukuchi. It's going to be released April 10th. We have the covers. And we have the title, finally. Mukuchi. <laughs> Mukuchi. Why is it like that, dude? That's so stupid. <laughs> Risa, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I'm blaming her as if that was her idea. Yeah, Risa, what, what have you done? What are you doing, man? <laughs> Anyway, Please let's pick up Makuchi. <laughs> that's the main cover. It's her uh, with the skateboard with the shoulder. Um, we also have. <laughs> it looks it looks really good. Um, we mm-hmm. also have a uh, Amazon Japan cover and Lopi and HMV cover. Mm-hmm. I already pre-ordered on Amazon, so I'm getting mm. the boobies one. Yeah, <laughs> I pre-ordered, but sometimes it like changes your order. What? Like it changes from like the regular to the Amazon or the Amazon to the regular. It did that for me with um with phones. I think it depends photo-book. on like when you so, pre-order. Like the Amazon one, there's a limited one. Yeah. Right? That's mm-hmm. it's the limited Amazon one if you want the boobies one. But they also have the just the regular one with the you know. Mm-hmm. The, yeah, because the when, I, when I pre-ordered this, it didn't it didn't come with, with this one originally. So I checked and I had to get this one. Like oh, I had so to, you like, like reorder? Take the off phone? the other one and then reorder to, to get this one. Mm. I'll have to double check. And... I'm gonna I'm gonna let fate decide for me. So just make sure that when you order it, you you get the one that says like the Amazon Gente. Yeah, Kaba Ver. Mm-hmm. It shows the cover, right? Yeah, it just yeah. you just look for the boobies. So mm-hmm. uh, there's also the Lopi and HMV. It's like a close up shot. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as usual, right? Different covers from different uh, mm-hmm. uh, stories. Now here's a question. Which one's the best stories. one? How is that even a question, Josh? What do you mean, what's the, which one's the best one? Which one's the best one? The boobies, dude. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was going to say the regular one. What did you like even ask? No, oh, I, my actually God, like, dude. I actually like the regular one more, dude. I like the regular one because the there's a lot of color in it and it's very vibrant. Yeah, yeah. So I like... Yeah, she's- she's got the pouty face it's really um, i have very high hopes for this uh, not like because i'm a she's my oceanman and everything but like if you've been keeping up with like the previews and the offshoots they've been releasing and stuff on like mm-hmm. instagram and twitter uh it's like the kind of photo book i i like you know it's like super vibrant with the colors and everything yeah. mm-hmm. so i'm hoping that it'll keep up See, this theme of just being really colorful Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. Like, you guys may disagree, but I feel like one of the issues with the way Pwn's book was marketed was it was like, oh, we're finally letting out the lewds, boys. Mm-hmm. You know, and it sets you up for that false expectation. They went for like mm-hmm. a very like mature and like, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But, Whereas- like, you know, you haven't really gotten much lewds from Reese's, right? Like yeah, the like, ludes you do have with her, it's like very innocent. It's just like beach ludes. Which yeah, I yeah. Count, you know. It's just like okay, a lot of the previews from Risa or like the the Twitter is like her being stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you like, like her at the arcade and shit yeah, playing yeah. fucking <laughs> yeah, like, uh, like uh, what is it, skee ball or something? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like her like acting like a chicken and shit. I'm like, what the fuck right. is this? <laughs> but it's. Who was cool. in charge of that Instagram? Is going hard at that Instagram game. 
Yeah, yeah. They're so, like Instagram stories, like every day, like five of them, and like uh, like two posts every day. So yeah, they like I guess they're really uh, that's like the feeling they want to portray. Mm-hmm. Like the book has, you know, it's just like yeah, more fun, more high fun energy. kind of thing. So mm-hmm. don't don't let Makuchi <laughs> fool you, dude. So yeah, <laughs> I have high hopes. I mean, I, I, even if it. To me, I guess the the previews are like enough. already worth it. Yeah, already worth. Because mm-hmm. yeah, it's, I think, it's I think like Risa's it's like, like a lot of fun, you know. I think, yeah, I think she's like one of the really like they're all pretty, but I think she's one of the, like the prettiest girls in Kaki. Mm-hmm. So yeah, mm-hmm. it's like already like a worth it for me from there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just like take a a scroll through the Instagram. Mm-hmm. Like mm, the colors look very nice all bright and shit you know mm-hmm. there's probably you know some night shots too but it seems like the majority is you know yeah like daylight daylight out, out and natural about. and stuff yeah so it's nice mm-hmm. um, also See, and then like I mean, it doesn't set you up for the fall like to get your hopes ruined right because mm-hmm. you're not expecting ludes from this but then if you get it you're gonna be like <sighs> <laughs> didn't expect this <laughs> no need <laughs> <laughs> but uh also she's on the new no no cover well for the may issue i think which would be her first since she's a mm-hmm. no no exclusive model oh um there's a few scans that have been translated already by generous kiaki fans so if you wanna uh no Tomomi ichida dude <laughs> <laughs> big ups wow. to you know those like a big, translations uh, two-page spread of like Oh, Watanabe Risa's love Keaki Zaka. Mm-hmm. So it's, you know, since she's on the cover, there's like a big chunk of the magazine that's all her and stuff. So mm-hmm. Time to go to Kino Kuniya and pick up Ooh. a women's magazine. <laughs> this is for my, is uh, yeah. Which <laughs> <laughs> I act like I'm reluctantly buying it. That's uh, so. All right, it's, it's, it's this one with a what? What is it? Watanabe Risa <laughs> on it, right? Yeah, that one. Okay, okay. All right, let me get this one and I guess <laughs> when you're picking up the photo book. Oh, this is the okay. men's <laughs> one, right? Too. Okay, pick up a men's magazine too. Wow, pick up right. Risa's photo book. Oh, you wanted M- Makuchi, right? <laughs> is it Makuch? Makuch? Is that what is? What does that mean? <laughs> All right, fine. I'll pay me back later. Okay. <sighs> you owe me. You owe me lunch. It's my sister. Uh, sir, just... your phone is off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, please pick it up. Um, so, you know, she has. I think they're uh, they're 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 going pretty ham on the the prints for this, right? Pre-orders, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just uh, I think just high mm-hmm. in general for Sakamichi members now, right? They just just print a lot. I think lot. it's like a hundred fifty thousand, right? Mm, that's that's that, a lot. That's a high number. Uh huh. That's a lot. So, good shit. Mm-hmm. Um, let's keep going. That's it for Kiyaki Zaka. I don't think there's anything else this week. Right? If if all it? of the, uh, what is it, initial prints of Makuchi sell, mm-hmm. that's more than enough for everyone in Tonga to have a copy. Oh. And almost enough for everyone in Guam to have one. Oh, damn. Oh, almost. Because, you know, that's where... Oh no, never mind. She didn't shoot it there. How much in the Bahamas? How about people in the Bahamas? We would need four hundred thousand. Oh, that's a lot more people than I thought. <laughs> that's like Mayan level. Yeah, but uh, please. Buy I, I could check out Florida's population. Just Miami, just okay, Miami, okay. not all of Florida. It's too much, dude. No, Ooh, it's millions. the same as Bahamas, dude. Really. <laughs> Four hundred and sixty-three thousand three hundred. Oh, I thought Miami's population was a lot higher. What's one hundred thirty thousand, by the way? Hundred thirty. Huh? Okay. Hundred thirty. Yeah, one of those is mine. <laughs> <laughs> mine too. Hey, but uh, anyway, let's move on to some Nogi Zaka news. <laughs> Etomisa just held her solo concert, uh, which was streamed, by the way, and. Uh, mm-hmm. I know some of you watched it, huh? Did some of you watch that, s- that stream? I, I, huh? I, had, I had work. <laughs> I, I watched bits and pieces. Well, I was in pain, so I was like, nope. 
Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, Can't but, be in double pain, right? Yeah. I was, uh, double pain. I had it up on my other monitor while I was working on uh, stuff for the event that's Ooh. this weekend. Mm. Yeah, so it was uh, the 19th in Japan. So it was, it's 19th here now as of this mm-hmm. podcast. Uh, and so it already happened. She had her mm-hmm. solo grad concert, of course. And you were able to view it on multiple streaming platforms and such. Mm-hmm. And um, Jimmy, how was it? If you, if you remember it was anything. Good. It was, uh, there was a few moments that like were very, very touching. Um, <laughs> I think I, I kind of talked about it a little bit during the pre-show. Mm-hmm. But my, my overall kind of takeaway from this was that... Uh, I don't know. Okay, like it's it's gonna sound. I, I wanted to tweet about it, but I realized there's no way I could like get this in 140 characters and not have it sound really like. <laughs> well, it's not 140 ascending. anymore. You know, or, double that, man. Oh, Three. sorry. You have enough minutes. space now. Still, no, not no way enough. It could without sounding like really condescending. But mm-hmm. this was one of the concerts that made me really realize that I don't follow idols for their singing ability, <laughs> and like it's like I don't mean it in a mean way at all, right? Yeah, yeah. I actually think. Her voice is very listenable. I think most very, people don't, right? Yeah. It's just, like, I know, I never really got to hear Misa sing solo before, so I was kind of interested. Yeah. You know, I was like, that was like really curious. And, uh, I mean, you know, if you, you once you hear it, it's nothing, like, really surprising or anything to write home about, but I think just what the concert represents made, like, everything just feel way more endearing, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, okay, like, Mariah Carey can, like, sneeze and that thing would be like oh my god i'm so (laughs) kondo dude you know (laughs) like you know ethel misa doesn't have that vocal chops but because it's you know she's been a first gen member you've got to see her grow as an idol and Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. this is like kind of like her last farewell like like i don't know man i was getting i was getting real choked up Mm -hmm. yeah she she did her her solo song and then she did a couple of uh well no couple but she did you know a bunch of noki zaka songs and it was just like, right right so we got the mm-hmm. set list here 22 songs I, I assume she did like uh full versions yeah uh they or, i don't actually i don't remember to be honest but i, I think so because they're pretty long oh. okay yeah so that's that's that was, cool because you know noki zaka usually was, <laughs> uh, yeah yeah uh that's usually how i watch concerts too i just have it on in the background you know um uh, but we had songs like Oida oh, Shampoo. It's a mix of singles and uh you know coupling tracks. Mm-hmm. Like Igai Break, she was one of the four that's in it, right? Mm. Mm. So ended it with a energetic romance no start. Right? Mm. So that's pretty cool. So you got some pictures here. Uh, she got some back dancers, dude. Oh. Look at that chick, is that? Is that Suzumon right there on the Ooh. right side? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, of course, uh, Nogi members showed up, I guess, for the last part. I think it was uh, Sayonara no Imi. I remember it like, that made me like kind of stop what I was doing. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's towards the end of the regular set that she did. That's cool. Um, yeah, Nogi members showed up, and uh, a lot of graduates came. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. To, if you go to Nagashima Sarah's blog, she posted a lot of pictures. Rarin with the clutch pics, dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we had uh, Fukukawa Mai come back. Mm-hmm. The other Sarah, <laughs> Miyazawa, mm-hmm. the other Sarah. <laughs> coming back. Well, you know, her dad's a soccer player, right? Yep. And then, like, Wakatsuki, Marika. Mm-hmm. Some two shots with, like, mm-hmm. keychain and Mayan and stuff. Mm-hmm. It's cool, man. Um, Jimmy, where are you? I see your, your sister there. I don't see you. Oh, I, I, I'm not quite at that level yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, it doesn't seem like fourth gen came, right? Yeah, we're, uh, we're you know, we're, we still have our own things to work on. Mm-hmm. Not quite ready yet for the, mm. the big stage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, 
can probably find like a uh, an archive of the concert somewhere, huh? Mm-hmm. Is there going to be a director's cut of this? They might even release, yeah, I was going to say. Might even release a Blu-ray, perhaps? Ooh. Documentary well, I mean, of Eto Misa. Ooh. Included? Mm. Like right. in, the, in the album, maybe? Maybe it'll be included in the album? Ah. Because that's where, that's where her single is, right? Her solo song? Is that where it is? Yeah, it's in the album. Ah, okay. So, like, after <laughs> the only time she can sing it live is that... It's before the album comes out. It's like, hurry up uh, before you leave. Gotta do my Moshikimi ga inakere ba, dude. Yeah, so it looked like. You a- know, I, there's like a dissonance. I think I know what it is now. It's because, like, I've, I have this image of this very sultry, mm-hmm. mature Eto Misa. Mm-hmm. But her singing voice is like the opposite of that. It's like mm-hmm. a cute girl. Little it's like girl. very cutesy voice, kind of like what you expect from like an idol singer. Right, you know, yeah, because you know we, how we hear her like speak and stuff on on TV mm-hmm. shows. It's very like mature, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, so it's kind of. Guess you think that's the uh, what Rody said that like when you're an idol, you sing differently than when you sing regularly. I think no, I think that's just that's her singing effect? voice. Mm. Like uh, if you if you it's kind of like if you hear it, you can kind of hear that that's like yeah that's her voice. Mm. Just that's the way it is, but then it just. It's not just like the singing style of an idol group, perhaps. Uh, because mm. uh, you know, Hello Project groups have a very distinct like vocal style, like the way yeah. they sing the melody, of like yeah, the vocal yeah. melodies is very like distinct. Yeah. So yeah. maybe you know, like Sagamichi. Well, but then this is like a ballad too, though. Like, well, like I mean, like for example, like. What is what? What's that song? Moshi Kimi ni Kimi ga inakereba. Like it's kind of like a ballad, and you can. It's okay. still that kind of like idly girly right. voice. Okay. And where whereas it's like I don't know. Uh, and I think it's not what Roti's saying because this is her solo concert and not like a Kiyaki Zaka concert. You know what I mean? Like it was like or not Kiyaki. Ooh. I was like, like up to it's a good solo concert and not a, a Nogi Zaka concert, right? Yeah. It was a Nogi Zaka concert. I can probably see her having to put on a certain voice, right? right. But because it's mm-hmm. her own solo concert, you you should be able to kind of, you know, you you're you're a soloist now, so you got to sing right. like the way you're gonna sing. Mm-hmm. That makes mm-hmm. sense. Like if you watch Iku Chan's solo oh, concert, right? That MTV Unplugged is so good, dude. It's still mm-hmm. one of my favorites. Like the way she sang. Uh, like Nogi songs or like Futari Sezon is very different. It is not how Futari Sezon is mm-hmm. normally saying. Yeah. So. Cause she has that very like theater esque, mm-hmm. you know, classical, you know, like you can hear her vibrato. It's very like classically trained. Yeah. So. Futari Sezon. Like the way she like. Yeah. Futari Sezon. It's very good. I have that like favorited on my YouTube, and I come back to it from time <laughs> to time. To like, yeah, that's one of like <sighs> I, that's actually one of my my go tos when I need to put a concert up on the background. Yeah. So um, we'll see what Eto Misa does next. Did she say she was going to stay in entertainment? Has she said? I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I subscribed to her mobile, but she don't. I did not see anything. I hope she uh, returns to doing Gravier. <laughs> go back to her roots. Miss Magazine. <laughs> Let's yeah, dude, go again. Like, yeah, I, you know, I got I got tired of uh, Nogizaka making me wear clothes. I'm <laughs> graduating from clothing. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's keep going. More Nogi news. Mm-hmm. Shirashimai and Akimoto Manatsu, the best pairing in Nogizaka. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna be on Cookpad TV or some shit? I don't know anything about this. Uh, so it's an What's app that? you can watch them cook. I guess you learn to cook there, or they, you cook together. I don't know. Oh yeah, it's uh. <laughs> Sorry, do you know how I know about Cookpad <laughs> from uh Nige Haji? What? <gasps> oh yeah, you remember now, right? Like, uh, she's like, oh yeah, I learned I learned this recipe from Cookpad. It's like a it's like a social media recipe kind of app. Like yeah, community, yeah. That's what is. community based. So, yeah, yeah. yeah so, exactly. Like, people can post their recipes. And oh, then, like, okay. 
you know, there's the steps and everything. You can cook it and stuff. So I mm. guess they have a, a video app now. Ah. At- Where people can submit their cooking videos. It looks like they make uh, desserts too. Mm-hmm. Oh. See some yeah, was it some truffles, fi- dude. Mm. Yeah, it looks like some chocolate okay. truffles. And- it's pretty cool. Some, uh, so if you really want to watch them cook, dude, mm. get the you'd app. Be surprised how much like cooking videos I watch on YouTube. <laughs> I only watch binging with Babish, so mm. because of his, his voice. Mm. You don't watch if you look. If you look at the the channels we're following on the Twitch, for some reason we're following Hungry. Is that because of Jimmy? No, it's not me, man. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying. Uh, first, we feast had a video come out today. It was uh, uh, Kenji Lopez debunks like burger myths i mm. only watch hot ones from first we feast so kenji lopez is from uh, america's test kitchen dude the guy's like the g what? in a video with uh what's his name um dude from Mythbusters, adam adam adam, yeah, adam savage where uh they like what's the best way to sear a steak Ooh. <laughs> it's so it's mm. worth the watch oh i'll, I'll uh, just like uh watch that later. shirashimai and akimoto manats from mm. Pet tv I'm like actually pretty hyped for this. I, I actually Ishii. really love watching cooking videos. Like anytime they do it on an idol show, it's like one of my favorite things. Like, See, like I feel like every idol, aside from Iku Chan, who has now improved, <laughs> might uh-huh. I add, they like they all know how to cook somehow. Like they know how to make something, right? Because mm. they gotta live on their own now. You know? Right. Remember mm. when? I want to see Asuka try to make something. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's probably a disaster. Because I feel I feel like she like says she does. Maybe she knows how to make like two things. And the rest yeah. she just like eats out. I feel, I feel like most of them know how to cook like a good meal, right? Mm. As as like at least one we've seen from their TV shows and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like a nogi. We need more cooking they, episodes. That's what we need. Where they made those bentos for Himura and stuff, and he had to. Rate oh them. yeah, uh-huh. right. Uh-huh. So yeah. Anyway, mm-hmm. might want to like, download like that. Chat app. suggestion: It's a uh, Ikuchan and Sayoringo <laughs> as a combo mm. next. <laughs> that's good see for whatever <laughs> reason that combo i know they like you know they're like the the karage sisters and stuff like that but all i can ever think about is like that one i don't even know if it was like nogi kojichu or nogi zakate doko where it was like they had like east versus west and they had to drink up as like yankee and shit like that oh that was so good that episode and so then good. they had like a spicy battle and then mm-hmm. they just kept adding to it and yeah. then, like i don't know i just remember like i have a very clear image of Ikuchan staring down like Matsumura and be like eat eat two of those noodles you bitch <laughs> <laughs> chat says it's episode, episode 100 dang mm-hmm. pinpoint Good episode. Dang, if you guys have not watched that pinpoint watch episode 100 see this is how Goto. you know we're the casuals when I just <laughs> reference something and then the chat's ready oh episode 100 of a I got you actually. I got you Bam. I'm like I don't know which one it was uh, <laughs> was it Kojichu was it Doko they're like episode 100 Ep- Bro, that was this. nogi bingo oh <laughs> <laughs> casuals <laughs> uh, but uh yeah uh let's keep going with more nogi news they're releasing a fourth album oh, oh look at that it has a title now it's called imaga omoi de ninaru made i said that like Den Chan, dude, <laughs> like a robot and shit. <laughs> it's like, uh, is Japanese not your first language, Den Chan? <laughs> uh, <but laughs> you got me. It's like th- the memories until now, or some shit like that. How it yeah. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, they just like just uh, released the title. Like that's it. the memories from now, like mm-hmm. from now until the mm-hmm. memories of today. Well, yeah, until. I can do this. I know what it means in my head. <laughs> yeah, but how do come I on, English Jimmy. You can it, translate. Right? Let's go. Like, until today becomes a memory. Mm. There you go. So, album comes out on the 17th of April. Uh, I don't know why that was so hard, dude. That we went through cool. some of the details. That was, that was a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, dude. You pulled through. Uh, but they, there's the. They have the limited, the, the very limited uh, version. Which will have mm-hmm. uh, performances from the last like eight grads, right? 
from Ikoma until Nishino. Mm. Um, and the other two versions will have performances from their 2018 summer tour. Mm. So, uh, yeah. Pretty much it. Um, they should be releasing the track list soon. Probably after we do this podcast, they're going to be like, <laughs> here you go. There's the track mm-hmm. list. And then they'll release the lead track for the mm-hmm. album, you know? I wonder what it's going to be. Yeah, last album, it was Skydiving, right? I really like that song. Mm-hmm. Um, so we'll see what it is yeah. for this album. I hope all of this is just really sad. Go. Says a bit but the like, title yeah. like that, right? Like it's like ah uh, mm. yeah. Is this gonna be all sentimental? You I know? can yeah. Like, all the all, all the graduated the graduates, members and stuff. Yeah. Can you imagine a a, a group of just the graduated members just singing the song? <laughs> they didn't plan that for it. I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, like, yeah just some editor just getting all the words together, and making like, like a thing, like, shifting it's all the words. Stupid pitched up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying <laughs> that's uh it's a lot of uh grads the past two years they've lost so many mm-hmm. members so 2018 in particular yeah, it was just like look at, look at everybody that. out <laughs> so it's like that one album from uh the other group right uh the 1831 oh mm. yeah yeah that's like we finally made it but we also lost a bunch of people along the way. <laughs> that kind of thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah. We'll see. They're probably going to... Well, they they will release more details on the album mm-hmm. as it comes. Because it's, you know, All right, less when than this a, episode yeah, gets uploaded? <laughs> less than a month away, so it's going to ramp up with the promos mm-hmm. soon. Mm-hmm. Music and, videos, uh, maybe? Yep. Here's the last bit of a uh, current event here. Sakamichi Terebi. The new TV show they're going to have, which will feature... <laughs> Jimmy, what's wrong? It will feature Nogizaka, Kiyakizaka, and Hinata Zaka, Rip Yoshimoto Zaka, not included. Uh, this article says Sakamichi Terebi will be 90, <laughs> 90 minutes. 9-0. We thought we just gained one show. An hour. But we we and a half. Old, yeah. we, we, no, we doubled what we were covering before with just this one oh, show. Oh god, dude. dude. I don't wanna I don't wanna do a recap for this show. But <sighs> is it a one off? <laughs> oh, I hope it is. Jesus. I hope I, it just a ninety minute one, right? Is that just like the, the first one, ninety minutes? I hope like yeah, it's only because it's the first episode, so it's gonna be like, yeah, mm-hmm. look at this big a fest, you know, festival type thing. Ninety mm-hmm. minutes of Sakamichi series content is gonna, gonna be uh, performances and shit. Yeah, I was gonna say it's just better be performances, dude. And then, like, so the recap is just gonna be. So they did this song, <laughs> and then they did this song. It looks pretty good. All right, next. So this Oricon article says, uh, there, "There's like a talk with all three captains. Uh, there's gonna be a talk with three members." Hori, Pon, and Kyonko. Mm. And yeah, you know, it's good. There's it's gonna be a mix of like music variety and regular variety. Right? Just like what's, the other What's the variety? It's probably gonna be like skits and whatnot. Yeah. Um, mm. um apparently the Kuroi Hitsuji performance set, according to Saito Fuyuka, is dope af, dude. Ooh. There's a picture in the article. So yeah, and then a, the Natalie article. Yeah, it looks so. It's like uh, pretty nuts, dude. She was saying in the uh, in her blog that they it tried to recreate the music video pretty much with like the setting and everything. It's uh, it reminds me of the other it's, groups. Like one it's of pretty music Black Parade, dude. Yeah, it's it's emo af, dude. Look at mm-hmm. look at this. But, uh, yeah. So uh, that's pretty. Sometimes cool, I get the feeling she's watching over me. <laughs> The Black Sheep Parade, dude. <laughs> and so the first episode of, uh, or the episode of Sakamichi Terebi will air on the 23rd. Can I just get Hirate Yurina? The show. Uh, we'll have guests okay. like Nakamura, Ka- whatever, this, the Kabuki bro, Kankuro. Oh. He's a member of Katakana. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Remember? And, uh, 
amongst others. Yoshioka Riho is pretty popular. Um, mm. She's going to be in the movie with Hori. So what are Hot these like guest, gimmick. guest people going to do? I assume Hopefully they're fans. or something? Or, or yeah, yeah they, they're fans or like they're related somehow to the groups. Mm. It's going to be like a little section on them? Yeah, probably. Stuff like that. They're not going to perform with them or anything? Just assuming. I don't know. Mm. But, uh, you know, they, they, these groups have a lot of fans who are also celebrities. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If it's if it's fun, then like I think the ninety minutes will pass by quickly. Yeah, yeah. But I'm I'm just thinking like the other show, the other group show. Mm-hmm. Um, when it first started, I watched like the whole thing, many mm-hmm. episodes of it, because I was like, oh man, they're doing live performances and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, so fun at first, and then like first. yeah, they just kept doing the same. You know, just kind of mm-hmm. got you know, same. Same thing over and over again. So I I didn't realize at the time that Nick was in that one skit. Where oh yeah, the, the school the, one, the, the AKB school or whatever. Uh-huh. And then I remember like someone posted a video of it, like not nothing to do with Nick, right? Just someone posted a video on it on like on Instagram or something, and I just saw it. And I was mm-hmm. like, oh my god, it's Nick. <laughs> That's <me. laughs> yeah. So um, I wonder how much of his power level he's hiding from us. Nick, <laughs> you know, because he's like, oh, well, yeah, I don't really know anything about idols. But then he was in this, and then and then I and then I didn't realize it was him at the time. But he was the guy who did that mashup of Avicii and uh, the other groups, Boku Tachiwa, oh, yeah, uh-huh. Tatakawa and I. Mm-hmm. I'm like Nick. Are you, what? Are you I never. Me? I've never seen that. I'll link it later. But I'm like, are you? Are you one of us? Huh? You holding <laughs> out? Oh, but hopefully. God, I hope this this ninety minute show is just the first episode, please. And then you know, subsequent ones will just be a regular thirty minute episode that I'll probably watch like a f- a third of, because <laughs> nothing like yeah, right. The rest of it doesn't really interest me or whatever. <laughs> if it's just like the same set performances, yeah, it's, which you kind of do at the end of their regular shows anyway. So yeah, the only thing that's good about it is they do they do it live, right? If you've seen mm. like Nogizaka 46 show or Kiyakizaka 46 show, um, I'm hoping it's just going to be like that. But we'll see. Mm-hmm. We'll see. I don't want to keep doing a, a TV show roundup <laughs> recap of a 90 minute, minute show. show. <laughs> Goddamn, dude. That's too much. Check out the logo, though. Hmm? What do you think of the logo? There's no orange. Where's Yoshimoto Zaka <laughs> not represented? This is some right. bull shit. This is uh, terrible. But I like how they're keeping the triangle motif. I like the Tedebi part. I feel like Sakamichi. It, it just feels like that part was like an afterthought. Yeah, just, oh, let me just handwrite it real quick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Put a, put a little outer glow on it, you know? Yeah, it's kind of weird, but it's all right. But uh, that's the end of the current events. It's time. Ooh. For the TV oh, show <laughs> round. Uh, Look at that. See, uh, so I'm going to admit, I only watched uh, Keakite Kakenai this week. Oh, that's fine. I'll let you oh. handle it this week. Oh, okay. But, uh, but I'm already having trouble keeping up with three shows. Right? <laughs> now you want to uh-huh. add a 90-minute show. <laughs> God damn it. But, uh, yeah, this is... And like I, say, I have to say this every week, but it's not like I don't watch it. It's just hard to watch it all before the show. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? mm-hmm. uh, but this is the segment of the podcast where we recap oh, excuse me the weekly TV shows of Sakamichi series groups like Hiragana Oshi which is Hinata mm-hmm. Zaka show they'll probably change the title of this sometime soon mm-hmm. you have Kiaki Tekakenai that's Kiaki Zaka show and then Nogizaka Kojichu which is Nogizaka Shit. show but we also sometimes cover one-off shows, and soon, I guess, Sakamichi Terebi. Just wait till that comes out, and then and then another bingo comes out. Oh, God. And then Ego comes out at the same time. <laughs> Which is before. Um, this week, Sasaki Mire had a one-off TV show about bread. Oh. Bread? Yeah, dude, oh. I saw, saw clips of that. One. So I haven't seen this. This is similar to Saito Kyoko's ramen one a couple months back, right? Mm-hmm. She goes around, she had a Kanemura, yeah, Kanemura and Miho Watanabe was with her because they also like bread, right? So they, yeah. 
They go around and taste popular trendy breads. And then she like makes her own bread. They had that rainbow bagel. It's like, oh, this is insta buy in America. <laughs> Not <laughs> on this side. <laughs> Not on this side. <laughs> I mean, like bagels are like one of New York's, you know, delicacy type things, right? Mm-hmm. But, uh, it's all about the, the plain bagel. When was the last time you guys ate a bagel? No, it's all about the everything. When I went to New York a couple <laughs> months ago, I had a bagel. Everything it bagel? Was tasty. Yay or nay? Yeah. I've never been there. I don't remember what it's called. I think it was, yeah, it has like the salmon and shit and the cream cheese. Ooh, it was tasty oh, AF, dude. But, uh. Getting hungry. Pass, pass <laughs> on that rainbow bagel, though. What is it? Isn't it just a regular bagel? But just like. Yeah, but the dough colored? is like, you know, there's food coloring in it, so it looks like a rainbow and shit. Yeah. Oh, it just looks I mean, pretty. It's not that different. But it's like sweet, not savory. So. Not for me. Well, that's oh, the, hey. that's the thing about a bagel; it's flavorless, you know. So you so you uh, slap <laughs> so you on the make cheese. It sweet or savory, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, I like the savory. I lead towards the savory. So. Me too. You know what has I'm you know what has savory foods guy. You know what has flavor here in California? That's cheaper here. Avocados. Oh, God. that's Avocados. true. You can yeah. put them on they'll your still, toast and your charge salads. You extra at Chipotle. They oh, won't. dude, it's like two dollars. I had Chipotle <laughs> earlier. Shit's like two bucks now, dude. It's crazy. For like a little <laughs> scoop. That's the part that gets me. <laughs> it's like, just go to, go to the store so and is get it, one. <laughs> see, I, I've yet to figure this out. Do you get the side of guac or just on your burrito and, and bowl? I never, I never I, get guac. I, I, it's way too expensive. I don't know what's consistently going to get me more yet. Yeah, same. You know what I mean? So I try both, you know? Oh, do you know, do you know the double meat trick? No. Like you never, you never tell them you want double meat right off the bat. Oh, yeah, 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 because if you say double meat, they're going like, to give you like two little baby dick meats, right? right? right. <laughs> oh, you say, so you, you get a regular you go meat, back and then you like, get double. Yeah, 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 you say like, oh, you know, let me get steak, and he's like, okay, and then he gives you like a good, or you know, they give you like, a good portion, and then you're like, uh, you know what, you want, can I, can I actually make that double meat? Oh, yeah, 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 sure. But then he's like, he already gave you a big scoop. Uh, he can't give you a little scoop now. He's stuck. <laughs> Take off some of the chicken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put the steak on there. Uh but I don't know. Yeah, I, I still I don't know why I get the guac. It's expensive. I get <laughs> I, I get it get too it because anyway. I'm like, what kind of what kind of heathen would I be to not have a burrito with guac, dude? I'm <laughs> I'm a Californian. I have reserved my right to guacamole. Jimmy's also you know you know when we go to a Vietnamese restaurant, get that avocado shake. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> You're just drinking guacamole, dude. What are you doing, <laughs> dude? I remember I was uh. In high school, my, my girlfriend and her friends, like, uh, we were in, we were playing in uh, orchestra and we were on our tour. So we're staying in the hotel and her friend brings a blender with her. And they're like, oh, we're going to make avocado shakes. So then me and my other friend are like, okay, hell yeah, we want some or whatever, right? And then they make us avocado shakes, but there was like nowhere near enough sugar. Oh, dude. So it, but like, we couldn't be mean about it. So we're like, oh yeah, this is real good. But it was like... Too sweet to be a guacamole, but not sweet <laughs> enough to be an avocado shake. It was so bimyo, dude. We're like, oh. I don't think I ever had an avocado shake. Oh, we got to take it's... Josh to a Vietnamese restaurant. <laughs> but anyways, let's talk about the ocean ocean ocean. Ocean. <laughs> What was this again? Oh, yeah, the TV show Roundup. <laughs> Here gonna Oshi, they're doing the single hit campaign, which is a regular Sakamichi series thing. Mm-hmm. So they gotta, they gotta run they gotta do the 120 kilometers long, long to distance. get some avocados. <laughs> long distance relay right here. Uh, the Ekiden is very a Japanese thing, you know? It doesn't really, mm-hmm. it's not really popular outside of Japan. As Californians, you guys keep avocado stock in your, in your kitchen? <laughs> No, no, I don't. I do. There's oh, always av- do. avocado. Yeah, I, al- I always have some. Mm-hmm. Oh, anyway. It's a great <laughs> source of uh, medium change. God damn it, we're done with stuff. avocado roundup, man. Damn. <laughs> anyway. You, know, you got to slice it around the seed and then you stab the seed. Oh, and that's, that's the coolest <laughs> part, dude. When you like take the knife and like, yeah. Are we going to talk up. about the show? <laughs> okay. They did a time trial first because, you know, they're supposed to, like, pair off when they do their... So it's 120 kilometers, but they're running 12 and 12-mile 12 uh, 
yeah. legs, right? So, but it's like two of them. They're paired off. So like, mm-hmm. there's like 10 groups total, right? Yeah. Or 10 pairs. So they, they did like a time trial uh, to see how you know, everyone's running speed is and stuff. And so uh, Bemiho is the fastest, of course. Cause she's Ex- the most ca- basketball captain. Most as athletic one. And Kyonko is the slowest because she's small and she's unathletic. Mm. The best combinations. Just concentrate all on her voice, right? Yeah, it's like all the power. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Just, uh, <laughs> <absorbs it> all. <laughs> and so uh, <laughs> yeah, they got they got like the set that's the the that's like the relay instead of the baton, it's like the sash, right? And so kinda mm. uh, Audrey, Kasuga and Wakabayashi, the hosts, they write messages on it. And they all write messages on it. Mm. So, you know, oh, if you get discouraged from running, just look at these messages and uh, <laughs> give you more power. Up. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know what their name is. The comedian pair from the last hit campaign when they went bungee jumping. Mm. They are supporting them this time also. Mm. And not Audrey for some reason. Anyway, the first it's pair. Busy. Yeah. First pair to start the Ekiden is uh, Katoshi and Kamimura Hinano. The newest member. So they're like running. They start at like six in the morning, you know? Mm-hmm. Running through. And I'm like, the rest of the members are in the bus and just driving along. So the bus passes them. And Iguchi is like yelling out the window. She's like, Yeah, guys, you can do it, guys. Let's go. <laughs> mm-hmm. Kato, she's like, Oh my God, dude, why is she doing this? <laughs> uh, Mom, this, stop. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Uh, it's too early. And so they pass it off to Kanemura Miku and Ushio Sarina. Ushio's like, yo, my left leg, kind of iffy, dude. Uh, but, but we'll see how it goes. And so like halfway, they're like, oh, shit, mm-hmm. we got to cross these like really wide streets. So you got to go up these stairs mm-hmm. for the crosswalk. And they do it like multiple mm-hmm. times. <laughs> it's like, this is the worst scenario for her, dude. <laughs> uh, the, the third pairing was uh, Takase and... Miyata Amanamo. Mm. This is like the redemption arc because they didn't do the bungee jump last time. If you remember, Kumi jumped again and there was mm-hmm. someone else. So, like, two of them went twice, right? Because these, yeah, Takase and Miyata, these two, these two can do it. But they're like, yo, we will redeem ourselves with this run. So, they're like running and like they stop for a break. And the bus mm-hmm. passes them, like, with all the members. And the member's like, yeah, let's go. And they're like, oh, shit, dude. Don't look. We're taking a break. <laughs> this isn't what it looks like. This looks bad, dude. You're supposed to pass us when we're running, dude. <laughs> you flunkies. So, like, in the bus, Iguchi's like, yo, dude, I used to walk around this area. Look right here. And, like, I walk down this street all the time. They were passing through, like, Yokohama or wherever she used to live. Mm. The dudes are like, you shouldn't be saying this. <laughs> People might look for you here. It's like, oh no, that's that's in the past. I don't, I don't walk here no more. So. Before time, yeah. Mm-hmm. So the last pairing for the this episode was uh, Kawatahina and Takamoto, and then uh, it shows like the running sensei guy, right over the trainer. He's like, yo, mm-hmm. look at how Takamoto runs, dude. No bueno. <laughs> Like she's gonna like hurt her ankles the way she runs or whatever. It's like mm. she, she's putting too much, I guess, weight on her ankles or, or the way she runs is mm. not good too much for force her. or what? Yeah, I guess the impact or whatever. That's how mm. I feel watching idols do anything athletic. <laughs> like, gonna hurt themselves. When in reality they are more athletic than I am. So I'm like I shouldn't be worried about these girls, right? To be fair, probably me too. <laughs> mm. I mean, when they do like cardio stuff. Yeah, yeah, cardio mm-hmm. stuff. They'll they'll beat me hands down. They dance all day. Yeah, oh, mm-hmm. but um, if they want to hoist something, I will crush these little <laughs> Japanese girls. <laughs> and so like the, the like the the leg that these two had to run had like a lot of hills and stuff. And the trainer's like, mm-hmm. "Yeah, dude, this is pretty bad. <laughs> she might hurt herself. <laughs> That's a concern right here." Mm-hmm. Um, but they make it through fine. Like halfway. He didn't correct her, her running or anything? He's just like... No, he bad. just made a comment. He was like watching her do the trial. And he was like, yeah, mm-hmm. look, look how she runs. That's not good. So like halfway, 
some of the members like get off the bus and try to cheer them on. And they like mm. start dancing and stuff. <laughs> it's like, yeah, all right, thanks. I keep running. <laughs> and that's the what, four pairs that they show this week. They'll continue next week, of course. They'll probably finish next week. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's Hiragana Oshi. Doing them long. This is like, running this is like a bish. <laughs> this is like a bish. Or like a whack single hit campaign. Mm. <laughs> Just making them suffer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that's how Bish does it. Remember? Who was it that ran like 100 kilometers to the concert? And then, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, you made it. Now you have to perform. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to kill these people? Jesus. Uh, was but, it yeah. Chichi? I don't, I don't remember who Idols it was. are far more durable than we are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... That is a uh, that is Hiragana Oshi. Next show is Kiakite Kakenai. Ooh. Um, to be fair, I I was too busy to watch any show really this week. But then I couldn't I couldn't stop myself from watching this one. I had to, mm, especially I had this to one. It's an obligation. Because uh-huh. Oshi obligations mm-hmm. this week were featuring Habu Mizuho. Right. Um, we kind of did this before with uh. Nagasawa kun, right? Where they, they sit down and get to know any member a little bit more that I guess Suchi and Sawabe are <laughs> you know, curious about. And then you know what, Habu lately? She's been saying some weird shit, dude. We don't we don't fucking understand this girl. So we're trying to we want to get to know her more. Uh, another so. understanding episode. <laughs> yeah, so we got Habu Mizuho up. Honestly, up I think time. it created more confusion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it didn't clarify <laughs> anything. I think that's like the best part of this, you know? Um is just like Nagasawa Kun made me like more concerned for her, <laughs> yeah. and in, in a weird way, so did Ma- Habu, but in a different way. Just exacerbated the problem here. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But uh, so like you know what, Habu always like anytime they have to, we have surveys and shit like that. She always like answers shit really weird, dude. Like uh, you know um, so we're gonna we're gonna give her like some some questions and shit like that, and she has to like. You know, we just want to see what her response is to these survey mm-hmm. things, right? So, like, they're like, okay, make us a riddle or whatever, right? And then it had, like, kind of like a fill-in-the-blank things for mm-hmm. her. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, Kohaku, oh, right? Kohaku Utagasen mm-hmm. is to blank as to blank, right? And then mm-hmm. so she's got to, like, make a riddle or whatever, right? So you'd be like, oh, Kohaku Utagasen is to, I don't know, music shows as this is to this, for example, right? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. But she didn't understand what a riddle meant. Uh-huh. So she just put like, oh, uh, Kohaku Utagasen is to Kohaku <laughs> as to Keaki Zaka 46 is to, or, or, like, or like, oh no, she's like, Kohaku Utagasen is to Kohaku as to please just choose one. <laughs> like, they're like, what, what? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> like, what? And I, I don't think I could figure out what she was trying to say either. I think the closest <laughs> thing I could think of is like, oh, because they were like, like someone was like, oh, because you know how like Keaki Zaka 46, sometimes they just call us Keaki, but they mean mm-hmm. the same thing. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes they say Kohaku with the Gasen, but then they just say Kohaku. Right. Mm-hmm. It's just, just choose one. <laughs> and they're like, oh, word <laughs> yeah, all right, okay. yeah. Yeah. so she's like all right we gotta we gotta cut this boys this <laughs> yeah. is this makes no I sense i would never have figured that out Oof. um like pun you understand she's like no no i don't <laughs> fujita nicole you know what that means <laughs> <laughs> i think that was like the best part is like not like okay like you, you see some of like like the 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 first gens react because they but they they know how stupid Habu is mm. by this point. It's like the second gens. <laughs> just like, that makes it work. And they're like, <laughs> yeah. this, is, this is our sub party. We're, we're on a sinking ship. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I in this group? <laughs> <laughs> like the next one is like, uh, oh, uh, think of a title for your autobiography. Mm-hmm. Can anyone mm-hmm. guess what she thought it would be? And then some people's like, oh, she's going to say like, I don't know what an autobiography is or something like that. Mm-hmm. Her answer was, Beef tongue with plum sauce. Damn. And they're like, the fuck? How could anyone guess that? <laughs> and then Uemu, like, the genius that she is, can see through how dumb Habu is. She's like, oh, well, you see, 
the word for autobiography in Japanese sounds a lot like like uh, this uh, Japanese like restaurant mm-hmm. barbecue. So, whatever, she, uh-huh. so she she probably just figured like oh uh, I, I'll just write something that has to do with barbecue, <laughs> and then she's like oh yeah no. I thought that like. The, like that word for bio, I can't remember what it is for autobiography. Say was like, something. It's like a higher level of that somewhere? same yeah. restaurant, like Jojo and or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. And they're like, "Oh my god, this one's so dumb." <laughs> um, so from there, they they like, okay, why don't you tell us some stories of how fucking weird Habu is? Mm-hmm. And then um, it's from the other members. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, from the other members and whatever, right? Um, who who, who told this first one? Um, I think it was Umura, right? Umurina? Or was it mm-hmm. Satoshi? Either way, someone was like, oh, uh, you know, so we're on this music show. I think it was like Kohaku or something like that. And they're showing all these past video clips. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, you know, she there's like a, a clip from uh, the Showa era. And it was all black and white. And this bitch <laughs> thought that's just how the world was. <laughs> All the buildings like, were just what, black what? and white. <laughs> she didn't like, like what? You wait, wait, wait. What? It's like, yeah, she didn't realize we didn't have color video technology back then, <laughs> and so she thought the world was truly just black and white in some places. <laughs> and then her reaction is just like, "I'm so sorry." I, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. This is true. I know better now, but I am sorry. Like, who are you apologizing to, Abu? <laughs> you dumb bitch. <laughs> um. What is it? Then, uh, Pawn's like, oh yeah, dude, uh, I was in the dressing room with her and they had like the TV playing and then there's a song playing and she was humming along and I was like, oh, I mm-hmm. like this song. Uh, what, what song is it? She's like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. She's like, what? It's like, I, I don't know. She's like, but you were singing along. And Habu's <laughs> like, yeah, don't you just know how songs are going to go? Mm-hmm. Oh, maybe she's like, just a musical genius, dude. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's like, she, like, she can see where the chord progression goes know, right? just from she's hearing like, like two notes she's oh, like yeah this, dude uh it's just it's just as mode. natural as like you, right? you, you hear one scales. you know uh-huh. two comes next so <laughs> two, one two three <laughs> <laughs> just have habu write the next song come on dude <laughs> right? i think it's like it's hard to like really get an appreciation for this episode because a lot of it is just in how habu's delivery is <laughs> because she says shit so matter of fact yeah, and yeah. it's so dumb you know, <laughs> then mm-hmm. you get like a then then you get a video a VTR from her uh, co-host from her radio show, yeah. And it's like they had nothing good to say about her. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yo, just... sometimes we wish you would just sh- shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, is that a radio show? Yeah, but she says stuff so dumb that it just derails the whole conversation, <laughs> dude. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, like one time it was like new, like we're talking about New Year's fortunes. And stuff like that, right? And then uh, someone like like the question was like, "Oh, have you ever had super bad luck?" As you you know, like because mm-hmm. there's different levels, yeah, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then she's like, "Oh, what a, what does super bad luck even mean? Like there's super luck and then bad luck together. So doesn't that just <laughs> cancel out and make like normal luck?" And like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What the fuck? <laughs> and then they come back to her and she's like, "Oh, <laughs> when was this recorded?" <laughs> and like that's not the problem here, <laughs> yeah, Habu. I would have just said like four days ago. You'd be like, oh, oh, I see. <laughs> uh, and they, they get some stuff from her mom, but apparently they find out that her mom is also dumb. And that's uh, it's from the and mom's like, side. Yeah, because mm-hmm. it's like you know the ask her is like she'd be the type who's like, what Habu isn't dumb, and that's how you know. <laughs> yeah, she is also dumb, <sighs> mother. Yeah, it's just like, you know, a little cute insight to her, her family insight. Like, oh, her dad, you know, practices like Keiaki Zaka song uh, dances and shows it to her and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And they're like, oh, <laughs> truly only like a warm and loving family can produce something so naive mm-hmm. and so stupid and innocent as Habu. Right. <laughs> and then she tries to have like this like sentimental moment, sentimental <laughs> moment, like, ah, yeah, dude, you know, it's like just what you expect from, you know living inside someone's stomach yeah <laughs> <laughs> like wh- 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 what <laughs> this is like supposed to be this like meaningful thing it's like oh yeah because you came from this person and yeah like yeah uh, they birthed you they created you yeah yeah <laughs> and if you think i'm like purposely translating what she said weird no oh, that is fuck. what she said in japanese was uh, like oh yeah sas- like you know truly what you would expect from 
living in one stomach. It mm-hmm. pans over to confuse Nick Young. <laughs> <laughs> That's like everyone the entire show. Yeah, yeah. Just... <laughs> then, uh, then from there they go to like a uh, if Habu got to direct her own TV variety show, what would it be? Oh, yeah. This is a good. And this segment. this segment alone was like worth the make the like, this a worth the watch. I kind of want this to happen, but at the same yeah, time, yeah, be a recurring thing. <laughs> I don't want it to happen at all. <laughs> I want it to be I, like, I like, it. like actual celebrities that come onto the show. Which it's like just like <laughs> trying to explain it. No, I want it to be like a segment, not an entire show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want it like a five minute segment at the end of each show. If they, if they, mm-hmm. well, not a five minute segment. I was going to say, if they learn from here again, oh, she. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like Iguchi snack <laughs> bar. It's going to be a snack <laughs> bar, but. <laughs> so, so it's kind of like that, but it's Habu, nice day, dude. Habu's habu no nice, nice day. day habu no nice day or like have a nice day mm-hmm. um and it's all america themed oh, she has like a cowboy hat on that's and everything. Like, this is america <laughs> <laughs> she gets all the english wrong on the walls yeah. and stuff like that dude. it's just like oh i'm special that yeah. means like oh to live out one's life to your fullest or yeah. some shit like that like that is not what that says like yeah. that <laughs> but she says it's so like it's so good i don't know man like I'm like the entire time I'm watching this. I was like, ah, I have chosen. To <laughs> Good job, um, Jimmy. <laughs> but basically, she turns into uh, Joseph Joestar, and like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> but she just spits out random English and like tries to solve mm-hmm. members' problems. So mm-hmm. Sue guys like, oh, you know what? Like, I'm always hungry. My stomach makes all these weird sounds, mm-hmm. and then she's like, oh, I have. Like, yeah, I have I an have. answer. <laughs> and it's like, oh, just drink water. You know, I like oh, how Sugai actually knows English. And she's like on the same. Like, yeah, yeah. She's like <laughs> laughing. Yeah. Like, yeah. What is it? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> she's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. And then, uh, yeah, same, I, like, I'm doing it no justice. But it's like, yeah, same thing. Ozeki has an issue too. Is the two of them. She's like, oh, you know, I'm like still living out. Every day, like, it's New Year's, man. I just don't want to do shit, dude. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, ah, well. And she gives her, like, the most non-answer ever. (laughs) Well, well, then, uh, do your shit. (laughs) Yeah. What? (laughs) What? Study, study. Happy, happy. Do it. (laughs) Do what you gotta do. (laughs) What? (laughs) Oh, word, word. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, yeah. Then, uh, what is it? Last thing is, you guys, like, oh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, like, kind of always, like, emo and shit you know feeling like sad well, how do i how do i have happy happy like you kapu-san mm-hmm. she's like just do it <laughs> just do oh. it yeah. the the whole whole <laughs> <laughs> just do it <laughs> it's fucking like it gets a grayscale nike ahead and shit like <laughs> <laughs> um, but then from there they go back to the studio I'm like oh hey isn't is 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 habu-san here she's like, oh yeah i'm not I'm just up. Let mm-hmm. me go. Let me go get her. Mm-hmm. And she comes out, and then she's like, it's "The hat and shit." <laughs> oh, Hubble sign. Uh, so, so what's your thing? She's like, "Oh, I'm Japanese." Like, yeah. <laughs> what's with all this English shit? Then? <laughs> but she doesn't say like Nihonjin. She's like, "I'm Japanese." <laughs> yeah, she says Japanese. <laughs> then, uh, what is it? She's like, "Oh no, I'm 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 half my mm-hmm. American. My my dad's America Jin, dude. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's his name?" Nyari. Yeah, Nyari. <laughs> like, what the fuck? The fuck kind of name is Nyari? You Are you trying to say like nearly or? You trying to pick George? That don't Tom. sound American, dude. <laughs> Nyari. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, oh, then Matsudaida fucking is like, oh, well, she looks She looks up to Habu. Why don't we have her ask a question? And then like, I realized something. No, Matsudaida is also a fucking idiot. That's that's so like that's why, dude. She doesn't. She can't see Habu for how dumb she it's is. The worst combination. <laughs> uh, so she's like, "Oh, what's your problem?" I was like, "Oh, I got, I got dry eye." <laughs> and then she like, like, uh oh, she just starts oh, answering. <laughs> yeah, she's like, "Oh, wait, wait, wait." Where's the? I oh have- my god, dude. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, oh my god. <laughs> and then uh. He's like, yeah, just uh, eat some fucking cherries and strawberries and shit. Yeah. Know, <laughs> Every my it. morning. It, uh, it was it's it's fucking dumb, but it's really yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah, definite watch if you're a mm-hmm. Habu fan. It's 
So. Or even if you like funny stuff. <laughs> I, I think this is a good episode to watch, like, in general. Yeah, yeah I uploaded it to my Google Drive, so I can send it to my friends later, because I'm going <laughs> to force them to watch that shit, dude. <laughs> I guess. Hey, guys, you know how none of you care about the Japanese girls I like? Watch this. <laughs> watch this. <laughs> I care about you. this one dearly. <laughs> I'm going to quiz you later. You better know what to expect. So, like, notes. man, the new generations, dude, they, like, start referencing them and stuff. Oh, what do you, you think? Matsudaira, and I'm like, who the fuck? You know, like, <laughs> you know, like on uh, Kiaki Kiyak, Message or, or whatever, like, I, I subbed to Nagasawa kun She's like, mm-hmm. oh, I, I went out with, with Rico or whatever. I'm like, Who's that? Who is? <laughs> oh, shit, that's a second gen memory. God damn, dude. Who the fuck is. Re- I, I do like that they're, like, incorporating the second gen already mo- way more than Hiragana ever was. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good thing, right? Yeah, yeah, so I'm saying I, I, I like that, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're more than another second gen in Nogizaka? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and uh, that goes for Nogizaka's new gen, too, which mm-hmm. uh, they are featured on this week's Nogizaka Koji Chu. Mm-hmm. Um, these, are, these are my favorite episodes. This Cooking, was, uh, sports, and challenges. Those are, like, my top threes right there. Like, I, had to, I had to pull up, like, the Wikipedia of, like, all the fourth gen girls, guys. I didn't know who was who, <laughs> dude. I was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, they they did some athletics in this episode. Uh, let's see who's who's very athletic, who's who's very very not. And mm-hmm. So you know, the fourth gen did their own thing, recorded. Third on gen a, did it, right? Separate. Third gen did it too. Uh, I did think. I'm just, I'm just glad uh, Kakehashi was there, or else uh, you guys would have seen how slow I am. Mm. So, you know, I just yeah, I'm just weight train. I don't do enough. Uh, <laughs> I feel like third gen did this on Nogi Bingo or something. But, oh maybe. Anyway, first is the fifty meter meter sprint. You know, everyone does this, right? Mm-hmm. And it's like at this, there's like snow and stuff. It looked very nice, you know. Mm-hmm. So like they're all running, and like Shibata and Samia Ray were the fastest ones. Mm-hmm. The slowest. Well, the slow Kakehashi was pretty slow, mm-hmm. uh, but the worst one <laughs> was our trader Kitagawa <laughs> Yuri. <laughs> like Kitagawa, how do you feel? I was like, well, you know, the scenery is wonderful, and they're like, yo, why does this, <laughs> what does this have to do with anything? <laughs> All of a sudden, music starts, Karajiyo starts coming in. <laughs> hey, what the hell is this? <laughs> right, so yeah, she was like definitely the slowest one, and she like mm-hmm. almost trips. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's like, oh. and the next test was the jump repetition horizontal. It's like the lateral. Uh-huh. I don't know lateral what to call jumps. it, but there's it's like lateral jumps, isn't it? Yeah, but instead of like jumping once. Left and right. You jump like, twice, yeah. Yeah. Oh, just mm-hmm. set back position, go outside. <laughs> Jimmy, what is it called? Do you know? Uh, I I would just call that an agility drill. Yeah. Because like that. that's not, I've only seen it with like Japanese sports mm. related stuff. Yeah, right. the double, right? Yeah. But uh, Samio is really fast. She's she it seems like she's really like athletic. Yeah. Uh, which is uh different from what we expected, I guess. She was like mm. all, all crying and shit. Look like yeah. a shy girl, but she's actually pretty athletic. But uh, mm-hmm. Endo Sakura, forty six times. Oh, look at that! Oh, oh, look at that! Guess who the worst one is? Oh, of <laughs> course, it's our trader, Kitagawa. She's like, huh? <laughs> you think she's Manatsuing? <laughs> Ooh, mm. I don't know. She seems very uh, genuine, though. Mm. Or, like mm. the way she speaks and stuff. I don't she's know. Like, she's our trader. Maybe I don't know. Mm. <laughs> she just didn't want to make the rest of them look. We'll have, bad. To, we'll have to see. You know, maybe, maybe we'll see. We'll see. She she has more experience than other girls. Maybe she knows that the worst one gets more camera time. That's true, because uh, she did get the most camera time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she's like, I'm not good at moving fast, so they're like, oh. <laughs> um. So we do the high jump. Of course, everyone does the high jump. Uh, starting height was 90 centimeters and then if you can clear it it goes up if you can't it goes down so the highest one was Kaki Haruka is that her name with 115 mm, that's pretty high yeah that jump that she did was like I was like, like, <laughs> like woo. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course the worst Kitagawa Yuri our <laughs> trader also mm-hmm. Yakubo mm-hmm. the our Woda little uh, the Woda the one who likes um, mm-hmm. oh no I forgot the group name I know people who like that group. What is it called? I forgot what it's called. Ah, My bad. 70 centimeters. That is really, really low. And so, um, 
it shows uh first gen girls do it uh in the past like old footage wait 70 centimeters is like half of our height right or like more than half yeah yeah less than half i'm 170 centimeters tall i'm 181 so that's less than half my height Mm -hmm. so that is pathetic (laughs) i don't think i would need to jump to clear that yeah just step over your legs (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, it shows like uh, Matsumura. She just like knees the the pole, and then Kaz, of course, with her like running like backwards. Like Kaz, mm-hmm. what the hell was that? She's like, well, Nishino told me to do it that way, so I did. <laughs> uh-huh. Nishino's in the back. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so Got the, the next test was the one person receive or whatever with the beach ball. Mm-hmm. Just I have to keep it up. Like balance, right? Kind of thing. Uh, of course. Same ERA. Doing very well. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kanagawa, also good. She's the one that plays basketball. Mm-hmm. I don't know their first names. Um, I don't know half of their names, so. Yeah, this is. A I, I literally had to put the wiki up as we're same, going through this. Same. So I can look through uh, these. People. I'm forcing myself to learn it. <laughs> oh, we got to learn them uh-huh. eventually, right? Mm-hmm. It's okay, guys. We did it with third gen. We did it with mm-hmm. all of Kiyakizaka. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can do we'll, it with we'll get there. We can just, do this, guys. Just mm-hmm. get them some more, you know. Yeah. Some, like, I'm, I'm sure it's, like, we already know the trader's name. That's already a start. Oh, yeah. So. Uh-huh. I know Ray Sayaka. We should at least know the English speaking ones. Right. Yeah, that's that's right, right? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, the worst this time was not Kitagawa. But it was oh. uh, Kakehashi and Yakubo. Mm-hmm. I mean, those three have been on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yakubo. Uh, she, uh-huh. Yeah, she's the order. Yeah. I'm trying to like Ta-da, recall. Okay. Yeah. A little, little cutie patootie, dude. I'm trying to recall who's who in like the intro episode. I'm just like, uh. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then um, they did this the bamboo dance thing where they had to like jump right. over these sticks in like a rhythmic uh, fashion. And everyone mm-hmm. sucked. <laughs> like, no one was able to get the rhythm down. Except mm-hmm. for the youngest one, Tsutsui. Mm-hmm. She's, she's, she's younger than Ren Tan, guys. How is this possible? Oh, uh, mm-hmm. It's funny, because they're, like, trying to do it. And they're like, oh, no, I, I can't. And so, like, it shows Kakehashi. Uh, she, like, tries to step over. And she, like, mm-hmm. slips. <laughs> <laughs> and she like eats shit it's pretty funny mm-hmm. that's Kakehashi Sayaka right yeah I don't remember which one she, she Jimmy Wikipedia Kakehashi Sayaka yeah okay cool I don't remember what she did in the end of the episode I think she's the she's, she's 16 she's years the, old she's the one who illustrates right I don't remember uh, special skill guitar okay never Oshimen. mind oh she was the one Shiori. she was the one that played guitar I guess so. I, I'm just according to because uh, I think like two of them play guitar, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I guess not. Dude, not the a, one I was thinking. There's a lot of. all at once, dude. I care. <laughs> uh, and then like, what's it? Hayakawa is like, I I'm scared, dude. I don't want to do this. So she doesn't. She just like walks off. Uh, <laughs> I was like, yeah, what? She's like, <laughs> she's like, I don't know those people. It's the first time I met them. I don't trust them. What the? <laughs> Maybe the third time. I, I remember her. Them. She was the one that did the ballet. Oh, okay. Mm, like okay. all gracefully. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, and, then, <coughs> and then so the next test was the ladder training thing uh, that like a lot of soccer players use. So it's like a ladder laid on the on the ground. And they have to like jump over it and stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And like no one's really like you have to jump two rungs, but jump back one and mm-hmm. so on. Two step yeah, forwards, one, one step forward. back, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Just like my life, I like it. Yeah. Some of them were like jump oh, yeah, way like forward, advancing. <laughs> like way forward, and then like uh-huh. like jump three. <laughs> Kakashi eats shit again. She like slips on one of the rungs. It's uh-huh. pretty funny. Yeah, she she seems she, she, she seems like uh she's like the, uh, very like going for it, gung ho, but like <laughs> doesn't think herself. about it too carefully. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and so the last one was the skip and the gallop. Which uh, surprisingly mm-hmm. is difficult for them. 
I guess. So you gotta skip, and mm-hmm. you change into a gallop midway. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, they just look weird doing it. <laughs> and then they go back to the studio with, you know, senpai members there. Uh, who, mm-hmm. can, who can do this? Huh? Who mm-hmm. can... Keychan's like, oh. Keychan, I, I got this. And she does it like the side hop. Mm-hmm. Which is technically a gallop too, right? I guess, yeah, it counts, right? Mm-hmm. That's what I thought the gallop was. Oh, you got a gallop like a horse, Josh. Like on all fours. <laughs> 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 like how they like... Hey, what's, a, what's a gallop? Like, you know, how a horse Wait, gallops. Jimmy, Jimmy, show us what a gallop is. I know what a... <laughs> I know what a horse does. How... You want me to get on all fours? It's <laughs> no, like one, it's one two lazy. jump, one two jump. How do, how do I explain it? Jimmy, show us what a gallop is. Here, let me. I don't know. I'm asking. I'm gonna Google it for you. Because <laughs> we like, can't. When you think gallop, go from a skip to a gallop. What do you think? Okay, I know. I know how to skip. You know, it's like. <laughs> so the skip. Yes, yes. Now gallop. gallop. Now gallop. 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 No, no, not to the side, not to the side. Don't do it like Gallop. gallop. <laughs> yeah, that's Keychan. How do, how do I gallop? gallop? <laughs> right, here, here's, here's what Wikipedia is. Uh, not Wikipedia. Go, dude, it's, it's a horse, right? The fastest pace of a as horse. We said, no, as we said, none of the fourth gen know how to gallop. Or other quadruple with all the feet off the ground together in each stride. <laughs> oh, so. It's one, two, one, two. Because a skip is like a here. one and a two, right? Is that is yeah, that? Yeah, so a skip. Right. The gallop like, is like one, two, one, two. Oh, like like this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah like there that. you go. <laughs> Got it. I need more room. Yeah, we need more room. God, that was a. Oh. Uh, that's funny. He <laughs> chan. She was like, ah, I'm gonna do it, and she like goes towards Banana Man. They're like, oh, oh. Mm-hmm. hi. How you? <laughs> what are you doing over here? <laughs> uh, and like Higuchi was like, oh, I I could do this shit, dude. Mm-hmm. So she gallops. She mm-hmm. goes up to Banana Man. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, hello. <laughs> and then she like gallops back to her seat. It was cute. Mm-hmm. Um, and so at the studio now, they do uh, another test. And it's the handball jump shoot. It's like you. you know, get... Sorry, I can gallop in my head now. I know, I know okay. exactly. <laughs> okay. I just don't have the, the clearance. Got mm-hmm. it. And so they receive a pass, uh, two steps, jump, and then shoot. Towards the the goal, mm-hmm. Himura will like be the goal goalkeeper, and then mm-hmm. since uh, what's her name, uh, Kanagawa is athletic, she will pass the ball. And so mm-hmm. a few of them will attempt. And so like you got like Hazuki, and Asuka, and Karin, Kakeashi, mm-hmm. of course, Kubo, like the ones who people think are not very athletic, they will give mm-hmm. it a shot. And so Mukai receives the ball. And she like tries to like I don't know what the hell she was doing, dude. It was it was really weird. And they're like, "What should have been a better bro- older brother?" They were, they were like, "Mukai, sports. what the hell was that, dude?" She like throws it a second time. They're like, "Yo, <laughs> chill out, dude." Wait, doesn't she? Doesn't she like fall down? Yeah. She, yeah, like, yeah. As, she as, throws it. And just it's like she she just like jumped as she grabbed the ball and she like. She tried to do she like three things at the same falls time. Down. I don't uh-huh. know. That was, that was kind of weird. Uh, it looked like a pretty hard fall. Um, and so Asuka tries. So like Asuka gets the ball and she just like hops over. And mm-hmm. st- until she's like standing in front of Himura. What are you, Himura's like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> like, go try it again. So like she does it and like she she throws it towards his balls. She's just like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like just runs up to him and just throws it there. Yeah, like Asuka. <laughs> Asuka, what are you doing? And then Yoda's just, just laughing. <laughs> Look crazy. So Karin tries. She just like steps over. Yeah. <laughs> and throws. <laughs> Looking like a grandma and shit. Uh, Kakehashi just kind of like tosses it over. And Kimura mm-hmm. catches it. And he's like, all right. <laughs> and Kubo actually does it right. She like gets the ball. Mm-hmm. And jumps. Mm-hmm. Makubo. And at the end, Hoshino was like, man, That's I could do this. With- like, oh, Hoshini, you want to try? Okay, let's give it a try. And so they try it. She's like, can't do it at all. <laughs> she like gets the ball and she's like, oh, throws it from far away. And they're like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let it go to the line. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, but yeah, that was pretty much it. We'll continue with more uh, stuff next week. It's going to be mm-hmm. primarily in the studio. So it should be mm-hmm. fun. Get to know yep. more of the uh, 
eugenics. And I, mm. When they do the weightlifting, Jimmy's going to show up. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. Mm. 500 so pounds really deadlift. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, Swole Chan. Yeah, five- <laughs> Soul Chan's getting ready for a meet. Does, 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 doesn't want to like max out too hard. Yeah, he's got like mm-hmm. the, the thing they smell. Oh, oh the freaking uh, ammonia! <laughs> 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 that, that, they're gonna use that as a Batsu game in future episodes. But Soul Chan's just like, ah, <laughs> deadlift. Uh, just pick up Yoto and throw her. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Anyway, that's it for the TV show roundup. That's it for the show. Or the podcast. Hey. That's it for the show. <clears throat> Thank you all for watching. If you liked it, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Maybe consider subscribing on the Twitch channel if you want to support us. Or you can also support us on Patreon. Go ahead and follow us on Twitch, you know, because that's free. And you can also follow us on Twitter as well as Instagram, as well as our individual channels and Twitters. I released a new video. Uh, about seeing Kiyakizaka hey. and Hinatazaka. I saw you in snuck Japan. in that that ninja. <laughs> yeah. Dang, you you bad person. No cameras, man. man <laughs> no on, recording, man. Josh. Damn. I don't know. There's no signs up. How am I supposed to know? Oh, he's the Gaijin card, dude. I know, dude. That's... Oh, uh, well, Kara and I, dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, sorry, what? Oh, we, sorry. We don't go Dekinai, my guy. Dekinai. <laughs> Yo. You just sound like Habu trying to speak English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Habu. <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> I'm special. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next week live on Twitch like every other Tuesday. Well, every Tuesday around 7 p.m. Pacific time or California time because, you know, daylight savings. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>